Uh, I think that uh, Ed Gillespie is likely to be as gracious as possible. Um, it does look like Mark Warner has uh, sufficient votes to survive any sort of uh, recount. Uh, and Ed Gillespie's ambitions, arguably, are to be governor someday, and a gracious acceptance of the likely outcome would probably be an important stepping stone in that direction. And why was the Vir Virginia Senate race so close during this year's midterm election? An excellent question, Sabrina. Um, I think the Obama undertow was a big part of that. Uh, it was a six-year itch election, the second midterm election of a two-term president tends to go overwhelmingly against the party in the White House. This happened with President Obama, of course, in 2014. It happened with uh, George W. Bush in 2006 when Nancy Pelosi and company became the majority again in the House of Representatives. It happened uh, somewhat to Bill Clinton, but that was also the impeachment year, which angered a lot of people toward the Republicans. It happened to Ronald Reagan. In the case of Warner, I mean, the Warner-Gillespie race itself, mm -hmm. uh, again, the, it's the undertow uh, of President Obama's uh, uh, low popularity. Uh, it's the six-year itch. But I, th I think in terms of uh, Senator Warner himself, he was sort of caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, on the one hand, uh, he pitches himself as a centrist, which tends to alienate the left wing of the Democratic Party. And there, was, there appears to have been something of a depressed turnout among uh, Democrats. Uh, and on the other hand, he votes 97% of the time uh, with President Obama, which tends to alienate uh, Republican-leaning voters. And this year's midterm elections ended up with the GOP gaining control of both the Senate and the House. What does this mean for politics-wise? I actually think that there is a fair chance for some policy productivity uh, on important issues. Uh, President Obama, uh, Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, and John Boehner, the Republican leader, the Speaker of the House, uh, have all made uh, positive noises, if you will, uh, suggesting that they're willing to uh, work out their differences. Uh, our politics invariably invites confrontation and compromise, uh, and I'm sure there'll be some of both, but I'm actually reasonably optimistic.